Just 24 hours ago, we had a strong uh, G3 geomagnetic storm that just wreaked havoc on radio and the HF bands. This thing was touted. I mean, everyone knew it was coming uh, just a few days earlier. There was a uh, CME, a coronal mass ejection, um, and everyone said it was uh, going to be a direct hit on Earth, or as uh, some people say, whoosh, it was coming right at us. Um, and this thing was touted, and it, like the media, they always grab hold of these things. It's going to be like, uh, you know, it could take out satellites, the internet, radio, blah, blah, blah. It kind of really over-dramatized it. I mean, yes, these things are serious, but, um, yeah, as soon as the media gets a hold of them, they really, uh, they take it to extremes. Like this one was, gonna, this was the cannibal, um, the cannibal being, there was a couple other, uh, CMEs right before they were smaller and then this one was bigger and they were saying this one was going to eat the other two and come across and just uh, wreak havoc on us. Well, it did. It really was a, a rough day for, um, for for HF radio ops. I mean, all the bands were bad. I, I About six or seven hours after the event, uh, I went on 20 meters and it was a flat line all the way across. Um, not until well in the dark last night, uh, 40 kind of really picked up and 40 was well, but um. Kind of wondering, I wonder how many people wonder this thing too. It's just how long does it take the ionosphere and for HF communications to get back to really good condition after an event like this? Well, it's been exactly 24 hours and you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how, how it works today. We're going to get online and just uh, see what conditions are like. Stick around. Uh, it's Buck Road Beach. This is in Hampton, Virginia, a little north of uh, where I live at my home QTH. I work up this way, and I just thought it's a rainy day. It's really it's crappy outside, but I'm parked right next to here at Buck Road Beach, right next next to the Chesapeake Bay, and I've got all kinds of antennas in the back of this Jeep. So I've got I'm gonna put my mag mount up in front of this thing and start playing around with some different antennas, and let's see what band conditions are like right now, 24 hours after this uh, G3 event. Here we are, this is Buck Road Beach. That's the Chesapeake Bay. I'm kind of looking uh, somewhat southeast there. Across there, uh, Virginia Beach is down a little south of us there. Uh, it is raining. This is the old Buck Road Beach Pier. It's now owned by the city of Hampton, but um, I'm parked over here. There's my Jeep. And uh, what I'm gonna do to start off with, I think we're gonna start off on uh, 10 meters. Cause I'll just see if uh, what it's like that time of day, we might still be able to get to Europe. I'm going to use my um, Fire Stick 2, the five foot long Fire Stick 2 with the mag mount here on the Jeep. So uh, let's kick it off on 10 meters and see how things are going. And we're going to go uh, with the Zygu G90, 20 watts. I do have a one to one choke there with it. Uh, powering this thing with a uh, 20 amp hour, my bigger LiFePo 4 battery. So uh, there we go. Let's see if we can make some contacts. Okay, 10's not bad. Couple people there. It's really not as crowded as I thought it would be. There's a Puerto Rican station here. I tried to get through. He's got a pile up going. I can't get through it. U.S. station in here. Other than that, 10 is really not booming. A little bit going on here. Um, I'm not going to sit here and slay DX on this band, that's for sure. But um, I'll look around a little bit. Maybe go put the other antenna up. Maybe my telescopic whip and try uh, uh, 2017, 15 in that direction. But it is, 10's uh, kind of quiet. All right, let's give the 17-foot... Uh, telescopic whip a try. I've got it uh, extended all the way. We'll let the, uh, we'll let the tuner, the ATU do the work here, but uh, let's go up and uh, look at uh, 20, 17, 15, 12, etc. Maybe even back to 10 and let's just let the, uh, the see what the tuner can do with the uh, 17 foot whip all the way up. I'll tell you what, it's amazing how quiet 20 meters is. The band is quiet. I'm gonna hunt around here and see if I could. I mean, the noise level, the noise floor. I can't believe how low it is. It's amazing. 
But uh, not a lot of activity either, though, so that's not a good sign. But let's go see if we can make some contacts. Lima Yankee for America. Lima Yankee for America. London Yankee for America. Looking for North America. Kilo four. Oscar Golf Oscar. He was the Alpha. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 5 and 9. This is November 4, Whiskey India Sierra. This is November 4, Whiskey India Sierra. Siki, 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 over. All right, here's a cool one. This is my club, USS Wisconsin uh, Battleship. Uh, they're operating on the ship, and I can hear them. I don't think they can hear me. This would be a ground wave connect, uh, contact if we can make it. India Sierra. November 4, Whiskey India Sierra, commemorating Pearl Harbor Day aboard the USS Wisconsin in Norfolk, Virginia. CQ, 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 over. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. And this is Case Kilo Charlie 1, Tango Lima Echo. Back copy, Kilo Charlie 1, Tango Lima Extra, uh, excuse me, Kilo Charlie 1, Tango Lima Echo, QSL. I'm way too close, but uh, hey, that was really cool to hear the club, to hear the ship there. But uh, I'm probably uh, probably 15 miles north of the ship, and uh, that that 20 watt in this antenna and a little ground wave action wasn't going to happen. Ship's antenna is a pretty amazing thing, but uh, how cool is that? That's good. I'm going to actually be on there and that's in that spot operating on uh, on board the ship tomorrow. CQ parks on the air. Whiskey eight Tango Mike India. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, good 5-9, Michigan. Hey, right, QSL, you're 5757 five, seven into Virginia. Thank you for the 57 Virginia. Thanks for hunting, 73. Thank you, 73. This is Whiskey 8 Tango Mike India for Parts on the Air. All right, 73, this is Victor Echo 2, Kilo Golf, Kilo calling CQ. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Is that Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar? Uh, QSL, the name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I heard you saying you were near salt water. So am I. I'm right by the Chesapeake Bay here in Virginia. You got a good signal here, about 5'8". Yeah, very good. Uh, Walt, uh, yeah, you're, yeah. I'm, right up, I'm right up on the St. Lawrence River salt water uh, here. And, uh, yeah, I, I, it works well. It works well for me here and... Uh, Especially when I'm in the mobile. Now I'm mostly inland, but um, I know what the salt water can do for the signals. That's for sure. Uh, you're uh, four by five by eight, five by eight here with me, uh, uh, Walt. This is Whiskey X-ray nine, Alpha Romeo X-ray. Whiskey X-ray nine, Alpha Romeo X-ray, calling CQ Skywarn. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4 Station, Kilo 4 Station, please come back. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Roger, Roger, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. This is with the X-Ray 9, Alpha Romeo X-Ray, um, with the Sky One Recognition Day event. Um, I'm at the, La uh, the National Weather Service office in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm across Wisconsin on the Mississippi River, and um, my name is Drew Delta Romeo Echo Whiskey, and uh, you're about a five by seven, a pretty strong signal here in southeast Wisconsin, southwest Wisconsin. Uh, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hey, thanks for taking the call there. You got a lovely signal as well. About a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. Been bouncing around the bands and chasing you guys down. It's good to get you and, uh, in Wisconsin here in the log. Thank you so much for taking the call. Roger, roger. We, uh, uh, the weather conditions here, we've got an overcast skies and about 34 degrees. 34 degrees in, uh, in southwest Wisconsin. QSL, you're not going to want to hear what I've got. I'm here on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay. It's about 70 degrees. The one thing, though, it's been off and on raining, but it's about 70 degrees with a little bit of humidity here. And, uh, and not a bad day. I'll take the uh, the high temperature with the rain any day. Uh, roger, roger. Uh, what, what is your QTH? I'm in Hampton, Virginia, uh, right on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay in Hampton, Virginia. All right, thanks a lot, Walt. It's good 
to hear you on here. Theo four Oscar Goff. Oscar, go ahead. Uh, QSL, you're five five into. Uh, I'm on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay here in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, good signal, good audio there. I heard you're uh, around 25 watts, just 20 watts here. I'm sitting in a Jeep with a 17 foot telescopic whip. So, uh, probably not far off from what you're running as well there. Yeah, QSL, you're about a S7, S7 on the meter to S8. Go ahead. Uh, QSL, you're peaking at S5, but uh, like I said, it's 10 meters in it. You're sounding great. Uh, QSL, Oscar there. Same here as Rick, Romeo, India, Charlie there. And uh, you need any of our information for Whiskey 5 Whiskey or Park Kilo 3004? Yeah, QSL, I got you that. I actually got it on the last go around there with your last call. I appreciate it. The name's Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango here. And uh, like I said, thanks so much for taking the call. I really do appreciate it. All right, have a good one, 7 3. Catch y'all later from W5W and KC5AKB. Well, a fun day of experimenting after a, a geomagnetic storm. Bands were wonky, crazy, but um, it was really strange to hear how quiet um, the 20-meter band was. But it was also not really a lot of uh, big signals in DX in there, although it did uh, did work a, a, a little, not much DX there. A lot of parks on the air. Um, I couldn't get through pileups. It was really crazy, too. Um, it was neat to hear my... Um, my, my club station on there, although I'm too close to them to really get through on the, on the bands there on 20 meters. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to experiment and see what it would be like the day after, uh, such a, uh, you know, a pretty strong, um, G3 storm. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's it, things you can operate. You can get out. I mean, that's the one thing I always tell people when they say the bands are closed or whatever. Hey, you never know until you get out and, um, you know, and call CQ or go out and do a little bit of hunting. Uh, sometimes the bands are open, even when uh, other things say they're not. You know, it's worth a try. But, uh, yeah, it was fun just to get out here and experiment today. Like I said, um, uh, it was, I'll be honest with you, I've had much better days and seen conditions a lot better. But they're not like, it's not the end of the world when you see a G3 or, or a strong magnetic, you know, geomagnetic storm. It's not the end of the world. Just hang in there 24 hours. Things will be back. We'll be getting back on the radio. I do know. I think there's a there's been a uh, talk of a, a another CME that's that's left the sun, and uh, probably like two days from now, it's going to be another pretty strong storm here. So um, as we're climbing through uh, Solar Cycle 25, um, this is the part of it. You got to grin and bear it as it happens, and then um, it's only going to make things better at the end of the day, though for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you're into. Uh, just playing portable, uh, building antennas, talking ham radio, learning together. Um, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. 73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.